Howdy folks, and welcome to another Let's Play. Lemonade Tycoon Deluxe, actually. Basically, it's a game about making lemonade, selling lemonade, and ultimately, making the money. And we're going to do that. We're going to make the money. We're going to start a new a new challenge, or uh, career. Okay, um, delete limes. Tim? Tim Meh. Tim Meh. My name is Tim. So this is pretty much the game. Alright? <clears throat> On this screen, it shows our little dude, who is right there. That's me. And we have a lemonade stand, and we're going to wait for people to come by. They're going to drink our lemonade and give me money. So, first what we need to do, first order of the day, is to make a good recipe. Now I think that is pretty much the best recipe you can get three or six three four so we'll try that we need to buy supplies or we can't start the day so we'll start off low because I don't know if we're gonna make any money um, we have to buy goods every single day and we'll, we'll start we'll see how we go and of course the first day is raining <clears throat> obviously if it's a rainy day you're gonna get less people so it should be sunny and now this would take about maybe a couple of minutes but we're gonna speed through it and we have a line forming. I don't know why people are out. It's, it's 89 degrees, it's pretty hot. But it's also raining. So I'm not sure why people are out. We earned $8.19 and we earned $3.40. So that's our total profit right there. So we, we need to buy more supplies. Every day you gotta buy supplies. That's a little too many lemons. And if you overbuy, if you overbuy on lemons, the lemons will go bad and then you'll just waste money. And if you buy too many ice cubes, they'll all melt. At the end of the day, all the all the extra ice cubes melt, so... Yeah, you can buy a fridge. And all these upgrades, which I will show you right after this. It's 104 degrees, my goodness. Sudden heat wave strikes town. Yeah, tell me about it. Okay, I made a dollar since yesterday. Now there's other stuff we can do. You can buy upgrades and stuff. We can't buy any yet, because we can't afford any. You can buy staff. Um, this person, um, well, this person makes the clients happy in line. Uh, they cost a lot of money, and I, this the, she never does anything. I never bought the clown, Simon the Lemon. But there's a lot of upgrades to buy, and there's actually no way to win the game. You can't win it, and then get the ending sequence or whatever. So pretty much the way to win is to get this: the ten thousand dollar castle stand more than just lemonade. So, that's my way how to win the game. And there's also different places you can rent. So we're in the suburbs, the park, downtown, you have to pay for all these places. And the last one is probably very hard to get. The Hexastad. Hexastad, I thought it was Stand. I guess it's a typo. Uh, never made it there, but I will in this Let's Play, so let's continue onward. Buy some lemons and ice cubes and start the day. Hopefully we can make more than a dollar profit. It's not raining, so that's a good thing. And as a use useless observation, these are some very pointed roofs. Almost as pointy as my mouse. Okay, we have fifty dollars, not a bad profit. Still not making enough. What we can do also is charge more for the for the cups. I guess a dollar fifty might be pretty good. Oh, ice cubes. If you charge too much, they're not going to pay for it, and they'll just walk away. Apparently, $1.50 is a good price. And as you can see, we'll, we'll see that again. If the line is too long, then the people will just leave, and you'll lose a profit. And you don't want to lose a profit, so... Um, to keep the line moving fastly, there's bunch of upgrades you can buy and they're very useful. So now we have eighty dollars, which is incredible. I never made that much money, and I never really had a nice stand like that. I always just had some trays. And of course we get a rainy day. We'll speed this up. Is there a better way is there a better place to start your lemonade empire than your very own neighborhood? I don't think there is, but I think that was a rhetorical question. So we're almost at $100. We can buy... What can we buy? 
We could buy this. We're not doing too bad. Although it, it could get worse at any moment. If if you if you don't have any money to buy supplies, like let's say you buy an upgrade and oh crap, I only have two dollars left and you can't buy any supplies, then you're pretty much screwed. Yeah, there's no two ways about it. You're pretty much screwed. And we're gonna run out of lemons in this on this day. Say we can't fill up a liter. So we're gonna have to make more. Or buy more. Make more lemonade. Music, really catchy. Not as catchy as Paper Mario, but still pretty catchy. Ah, lemonade. I'm actually drinking water. Fifteen dollars, not too bad. Not too bad. Usually I do, I fail pretty hard at this starting section. Later on, obviously there's going to be more people, more lemonade to squeeze, and just a lot more people, and you can make more money. But since we're just here in the boring old neighborhood, we're not going to make that much money. And right here is advertising. We're going to put that up to $5. See how that goes. Obviously, I'm sure you can tell what that does. And if you put enough into advertising, you can get a TV commercial. It costs $20 a day, and it could pay off. It could. It's not guaranteed to, but it may. $111. Not bad. Not bad. I say that a lot. Okay, I think we can maybe raise the price up 10 cents. We'll try it. Yes, we can. If you raise it up too much, even 10 cents, people just will not buy it. And everyone will just leave. Okay, can we buy any more upgrades? I think we ran out of supplies. Um... We're gonna buy this. This, this Shady Maker 3000 canopy. I don't know what it does. I've never bought it, but obviously it doesn't look like that would fit. I mean, I have an umbrella right there. People want shade. They, they got it if they want it. I mean, it's usually raining. Well, I guess that's why we have an umbrella. Rains a lot in this neighborhood. Okay, way too much money. <laughs> okay, we lost seven dollars. That obviously wasn't good. So I guess we'll raise it down ten cents. I thought I just bought them. Sugar never goes bad, but the lemons do. And the cups, pretty much you can just buy as many cups as you want. They'll stay around forever. Nice, we're getting a long line. Now see, this is going down, so we have to refill it. Now we have 16 cups. When you sell all 16, you have to make another, make another batch. And we ran out of lemons, so that's actually a good thing. It means that people are buying your stuff. Here's all the upgrades. Oh, that's a sound system? That's pretty cool. Kind of a slow beginning, but it will lead to a perfect ending. Always sucks when you run out of cups. It's like the most useless thing to run out of. Just pour it in their mouth. Let them open their hands up. They can take the lemonade that way. Well, that was a pretty boring day. What happened? Survey. 10 out of 10 citizens hate lineups. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, we don't want to buy too many too many ice cubes. Then they'll all melt and we have a puddle on the floor. People will trip and we'll get sued. So, we can start to... Hmm. We could go to the park. Apparently my popularity is not that high yet. Satisfaction's alright. We'll, we'll go a few more days. Problem is we're doing marketing. Take it back down to two dollars. <laughs> oh. Excuse me. So people are liking my lemonade. Good rep. Good reputation. We could buy this, or we could go here. Hmm. I think we'll put the advertising up. Ten dollars gets you the newspaper, and twenty dollars gets you a TV channel or channel lemonade TV TV commercial, as I explained earlier. 
Um, man, lemonade TV, that'd be pretty cool. We have water sports, but with lemonade. So yeah, people are really liking my pee. I mean, uh, lemonade. Sugar pee. It doesn't taste exactly the same. Not, not too bad. We're gonna buy this. This is really what we need. And that, what does that do again? We, we need it, but I forgot what it does. Refills, pitchers, add, yeah. We need that. And if we get... Once we break $100, I will move to the park. And we can do the exact same thing, except in a different location. Should be entertaining. I think that was a record. Oh, that wasn't a record? Wow. If you get a record, you'll get like a little gold medal. And it feels good. It improves your self-esteem a little bit. It's always good to break your record. I don't think anyone's ever played this game while just sitting through that entire thing. That would take hours just, just to even progress. Moves at a snail's pace. I mean, that's a whole day right there. Well, I'm very impatient. Okay, this is definitely a new record. Oh, yeah. That's not a new record? Wow. I'm... Oh, I ran out of supplies again. Oh, wow. Keep doing that. I should probably stop. I just spit on the computer screen. Alright. I want to break $100 so we can leave. Get out of my parents' front yard. Actually, this is probably some random person's front yard. It's not our parents. There's a little black pixel here. I'm not sure what that is. Hmm. Okay, we almost broke $100. We didn't, so we're not going to move yet. I'm a, I'm, I'm a man of my word. Alright. Let's move to this place. The park. Hmm. You'd think the park would have a lot of kids running around, but actually, no. No, it's just adults. I guess there's a kid right there. There's another one. Yeah, I guess there's some kids. It's mostly adults. I do like the trees. Lollipop shape. Okay, that was pretty pathetic. <laughs> we'll take the marketing down to a dollar. That's just a little blurb in a newspaper. It's not even a full ad. Oh, we ran out of supplies. That's what happened. Yeah, we keep doing that. It's not good. We don't want to do that. Okay, we just made a profit. All these swings and slides and a nice gazebo. I should go in there. Swings and slides and none of the kids are playing on them. It's because they're all busy drinking my lemonade. And I'm busy spending their money on video games. What else? Wow, that's a lot of people. See, if we had the newspaper or the TV station, all the people would come to my little stand, but they're all... Some of them are going by without even taking a taking a glance at it, so... We should probably put that up. Just a little bit. I'm not saying we put it up so much, but just a little bit. Bring everything up. 150 cups. Yeah, we can buy that. Doesn't matter, they stay forever. Okay, apparently people are very impatient. Right here, it shows all your stats. Pretty sure you figured that out. This, if, it's, if the cost is too high, and this is if they don't like it. We're not going to get any of that. Because our lemonade is perfect. I went on Google and found the perfect recipe. <laughs> I really did. I prepared for this Let's Play. Local kid sells best lemonade in town. Haha, <laughs> I was just talking about that. It's a good recipe. Okay, we made a dollar. Probably because it was raining. I'm just gonna blame it on the rain. Isn't that a, isn't that a movie on Seinfeld? Like a fake movie? Like Rochelle Rochelle? I think it is. 
Blame it on the rain. Record smog covers town under dark clouds. What is this, Pittsburgh? Maybe it is. Okay, we did horrible that day. Hmm. We can't really buy anything else. So I guess we'll just keep going. I don't know why I'm failing this starting bit. Probably because people are impatient. See, we got three already. Very, very impatient. 